Hi, welcome to the first of many tutorials on programming Mac 4. I'm going to make the first one here, quite simple. I'm going to add some sound to Mac 4. It's too quiet for me. So if we go to the screen editor, we go into our Mac 4 screen load script. Scroll down the bottom. To load sound into Mac, straightforward WX command called WX sound. So what we're going to do here, we're going to assign a variable called ding. In fact, I'm not going to call it ding because I'm not using ding. I'm going to call it log off because that's the sound I'm using just as a test. It starts off with log off variable equals WX.WX sound. Then we give it the name of the file we want it to play with a comma. The last zero purely means false. And that's what it's asking for. Is it a re resource or is it a file? It's always going to be zero for a false. So we'll quit out of that script. Save it. I'm going to go and put a nice button on... Well, we'll, we'll put it there so I can find it easy. That button, just for the fun of it, is not going to stop here. I'll call it log off. In this script, to run it, this is going to be so straightforward. It's log off, and then we'll tell it to play. Oh, plat. What's a plat? Let's call it play instead. We'll save that. Quit out of it. Again, quit out the edit screen so it saves everything. That's it. Done. Don't know what me log off, where me log off went for that button, but it's called button again now. And each time you click it, obviously that will play the sound. But it can be done for many more than that in my own personal screen. I've got different sounds for if it hits any of the end stops. Just different bits and pieces for that. If it comes to the end of a G code, then it, it'll. I've just got warning signs. I know what they are. Anyway, that's it for this Mac 4 quickie. And I'll see you for the next quickie. That doesn't sound quite like that, does it? See you next time.